Hey everybody, it's Jamie, aka The Bag Lady. It is Saturday, April 6th, and what I've got for you today is a new-to-me box. It is a um, fabric and textiles rex rescue box. Um, so I don't think that I have ever ordered this box before, or if I have, I maybe ordered it one time and never ordered it again, but I'm really thinking I never ordered it. So for those that don't know me, my name's Jamie, a.k.a. The Bag Lady. I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark and The Real Real. By day, I'm a business banking loan renewal specialist. So um, this is a huge collab amongst a bunch of different creators. Um, I think there's like 11 of us. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 of us. So... Um, if you started at the beginning, you would have saw Carrie T says at two, Lindsay Clark at two thirty, Happy Hour Haulers at three, three thirty the Steph Style, four o'clock Pat Garza, um, four thirty Stina Resells, five o'clock Single Mom Review, five thirty Reselling and Thrifting, um, six o'clock Dragonfly Bees, six thirty Timeless Jewel by Deborah, seven o'clock is me, yay I'm not last. 7.30 is Cammie's Craftiques, and 8 o'clock, Misty at Skeeter Jones. She's going to wrap us up. So anyway, let me get on with this box, you guys. Um, I'm really, really, really interested to see what might be in here, and hopefully everybody that's gone before me got great boxes, and everybody that comes after me gets great boxes as well. So the, my box, and it's big, and it's heavy. My box um, comes from Phoenix, Arizona, and I can't remember if this is if you're supposed to get 30 pounds or a, you know a certain number of pieces. I'm not sure. Um, I am manifesting though a banger. I need I desperately need a banger in this box, you guys. Please don't let it all be like scraps, which happens. It happens. I watched a few of these after I ordered the box. Um, it just says DIY fabrics and textiles. So here is a top peak. Well, we've got my favorite color on top, so we are off to a banging start. I'm gonna set this here to the side. Um, so, oh, this has gotta be a bridesmaid's dress. This is by Azazi. There's the tag, and it's a size 10. It looks like a 10 average, um, but look at the bodice on that. And then it's long and flowy. Um, it's really a pretty dress. Um, did I get, just get the zipper stuck, or does it, is that as far as it goes? Oh. Okay, I see what's wrong with this dress. Okay, so the zipper only goes so far up. Um, it's wonky in here, and so um, I am not a seamstress. Oh, look, it's got little um, jewels on the bodice, like right, right by the strap. Oh, <laughs> the... Uh, um, yeah, the other side's missing its jewels. So, oh, and there's stuff spilled on this dress. So, yeah, the bridesmaid that wore this d dress definitely had a good time at the wedding. So, okay, well, there's one for the donation pile. Um, or I could stuff a bag with it. <laughs> this next piece is by Athleta, okay? It's an old-style tag, but it's a size large. And it is a dress, um, like a gray kind of tie-dye print. I mean, at first glance, I don't see anything wrong with this dress, you guys, at first glance. So you'll have to let me, me know if you see something, but I'm going to throw this in the keep pile. So, okay heat pile. One thing I did forget to tell you guys is how much this box costs. This box is $24. So it's not a whole lot of money to take a risk on. Next up is, it looks like, this is Tommy Bahama. It's a size large. Um, 
and it's like a cute little striped little summer dress and I bet oh this could be like on the shoulder off the shoulder and I know Tommy Bahama is not a fantastic reselling item for any of us but <clears throat> oh and it's got pockets um and I do there is some staining on the front of this um I am actually going to throw this in the wash and try to wash this up because I really think it's cute and even though it's Tommy Bahama um I mean, actually, Tommy Bahama is an expensive brand. It just doesn't resell great. But I am going to try to clean that up. Uh, okay, this is Crushed Velvet something or other. This is Zara Collection. It's a woman's small. It is a little crushed velvet dress. And actually, it's like a mustard color. She looks pretty good. Um, now, and Zara sells, it resells for me. So I will definitely put this in the key pile, but it's not going to get listed till closer to fall. Oh, oh, you guys, this next piece. Oh, it's a skirt. It's by Christine Phillips something lineage. It is a size six. It is gorgeous, you guys. Absolutely stunning with the lace on the bottom, and I know why it's in this box. Somebody spilled shit all over it. It's got that. But, you know what? Yeah, and it's up here, too. I actually, you know what, for the price of this box, this is a really, really cute, cute piece. I am going to try, and it's got a side zip. <laughs> Let's see if it works first before I get to working on it. Yeah, and you know what, I can tell this is a quality piece. So I think actually it's going to be worth it for me to work on this and try to get those stains out. So, yep. Yep. You're going in the keep pile and trust. If I can get those stains out, I'm going to try that on. Although that style usually typically makes me look shorter than what I am. Okay, next up. Where am I at on time? Because I forgot I'm limited to time here. This is by Mannequins, size large. And it is really a pretty little dress. It, um... Oh, that's the back of it. Okay, so that's the back of it. It's black and it's got like um, flowers embroidered on it. It is lined. Now here's the front. It's just got a scoop neck. It's sleeveless. But you know what? This is cute. And it's really pretty. Although, I mean, it kind of feels small for a large. But this would be so cute with a jean jacket. And like even just some little white tennies. So, yeah, you're going in the keep pile. Hey, this box is not bad, you guys. So this is Massimo, which is Target. And it's like this long, long flowy vest thingy. Very boho-y. Um, and, you know, I'm actually, this looks... This piece actually looks pretty good. I think I am going to put this in the keep pile um, and then use tag words like boho, festival, because this is really cute. This is really a pretty piece. So, all right, keep pile. <laughs> this is by Exhilaration. It's a size medium. It is a pull-on skirt. It's just a pull-on black skirt with netting, and it's lined, um, and then it's got a gold elastic waistband. I don't know where Exhilaration's from or if it resells, but it's a it's a skirt in decent condition. Um, so I, you know what, we'll try it. You know. Okay, next up is Dolan Left Coast Collection, made in the USA. Um, and whatever this is, it is heavy. 
Like it's lined. Okay, so this is some kind of cute little dress I'm thinking. Um, but it's lined in t-shirt fabric underneath. So this under here is like a t-shirt. Um, this is really, this is cute. And I'm not, let me know you guys, if you're seeing anything, I'm not seeing anything. And you know, from this tag, this fancy ass tag, it's gotta be something, but I don't know if there's a size and, oh wait, what's this down here? Oh, it's dry clean only. Mm -hmm. It's made of ran, spandex, polyester, ran, polyester, whatever. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't think this has a size, you guys, unless it's on this fan fancy tag. And I mean, maybe maybe it's a small. You guys think? Is that an is that an S for a small? Yeah, I saw that other tag, Mom. It's just the fabric tag. So anyway, well, you know what? I'm, I'm going to try it on, <laughs> actually. And um, if it fits me, we know it's not a small. Um, so anyway, this is cute and hopefully a good piece with that fancy tag. All right. So this next piece is very flowery. Very flowery. Collective Concepts. And it appears that the size tag has been cut off. But this is like a maxi dress. Oh, that's the front. Okay. So it's a floral maxi dress. And it seems to be in a larger size with an elastic waist. Bottom is really cute. I, I feel like I've sold this brand before. Um... And it's lined on the bottom. I'm not going to spend a whole shit ton of time, though, looking for a size. I, I can tell it's a, a bigger size. <coughs> Excuse me, yeah. There's no size tag, so that's why it's in this box. Um, I'll look it up and see if it's worth fooling with. Okay, then we've got this piece, which is not bad. Um... Okay, so this is like a a big striped t-shirt dress. No pockets. Um, now, I did not see any branding, and the fabric does not feel the best. Yeah, there is nothing in this. So that's exactly why this is in this box. And honestly... Um, I'll try it on and see if I like it maybe to sleep in or something, but otherwise it's going to get in the donation pile. So it's going to go in the maybe pile. Um, we're down to just a couple more pieces, you guys. So this looks really, really interesting. It is another dress. Papel Boutique Evening. I wonder if that's like Adriana Papel, but anyway, it's Papel Boutique Evening Size four, I bet this is another bridesmaid dress. Um, it's got rhinestones all over it. It does have like a sash, a ribbon sash, and it's fully lined. It's really pretty. Um, I mean, somebody could definitely use this as a prom dress maybe. Um, so I will look it up. I don't see, nothing's jumping out at me straight away, but I'll have to look, I'll have to put it on my mannequin and see too if it's got all of its rhinestones. All right, you guys, last piece. Another dress. All right, well, I think it's a dress. I just don't even know. Oh. Okay, this is by Ella Moss. It's a size medium, and it's inside out, so it made it easy for me. I think this is going to be a maxi dress. Okay, 
And maybe I should have left it alone. But, um, oh, oh, this is cute. It's halter style. Oh, this is adorable. Um, and it's got like a handkerchief kind of bottom. Oh. Well. <laughs> yeah. Um, I was thinking about trying it on, but I don't think that that is going to be in. I don't know. I was thinking it would look really, really cute under a jean jacket because I don't do sleeveless. But this is really, really cute. Who did I say it was? Ella Moss. I've never heard of that brand, but I like this dress, so I'm definitely going to look it up. So that's my fabrics and textiles box. And you know what? Everybody thought I was going to be cussing. Hmm. <laughs> All the other resellers in the, in the crew thought that this was going to be the box to send me over the edge. And you know what? Actually, I mean, would I order it again? You know, no, I'm not chomping at the bit to get a box full of dresses. Not going to lie. Um, but it's not a horrible box. And do I think I can make my money back and turn a profit? You betcha. So, you know, I, this was a lot of fun. And I'm glad, glad, glad they shanghaied me. And not going to lie, I had a little bit of FOMO, you know, fear of missing out. So I needed to join my friends in the collab. Um, with that, um, hey, mom, did I remember, did I go over everybody's channel? I did, didn't I? <laughs> you guys know I can't edit this shit out. Um, so with that, uh, we are at 16 minutes and 45 seconds. So that kind of brings us to story time. I'm not going to go into what I have coming up because this video, I'm pre-recording it a week before I drop it. So I'm really not sure what I'm going to have after that. Oh, I know I'm going to be going to Philly. So the following weekend, so I won't, I won't have, um, for sure. I won't have a purse sale vi video that weekend. Um, story time, not a whole lot going on. It's Saturday. I stayed in last night. I'm staying in tonight. Now, tomorrow, I might go to meet Bingo, so um, come back and check me out because there's probably going to be something for story time if I end up going. That's, you know, I'm supposed to go with a couple girlfriends, um, and we'll see. I'm going to reach out to them tonight and see if they're still interested, um, but I'm limiting myself to two. That's it, two, and then I'm going to carry my ass home. So, with that, um, again, let me go over the list one more time. It is terrible that my memory is so bad that I don't remember if I went over this already. Okay, two o'clock, Carrie T says, yes, and I do now remember. <laughs> 2.30, Lynn's M. Clark. Three o'clock, happy hour haulers. 3.30, the stuff style, stuff style. Oh, you know what, let me back it up one. Speaking of happy hour haulers, that's where I got this excellent chunky necklace from. Um, I can't remember if they had it in a fun box or if I was watching a jewelry unboxing, which is rare for me because I rarely watch those. But um, anyway, she set it aside for me and I got it yesterday. No, today. Today I unboxed it or not unboxed it, but I, I opened the mail. It was in the mail. So thank you very much, Janet and Bryn. I love my gold chunky necklace and I wanted to wear it in my video. Um, so then, okay, so the stuff style at 3.30, 4 o'clock is Pat Garza, 4.30, Stina resells, 5 o'clock, single mom review, 5.30, reselling and thrifting, 6, dragonfly bees, 6.30, timeless jewel by Deb, 7 is me, aka the bag lady, 7.30 is Cammie's Craftiques, and 8 o'clock is Misty at Skeeter Jones. So, um, make sure you get a chance to check out everybody's video. I know I'm really super excited to see what my fellow creators got in their boxes. Um, and I'm pleasantly surprised. I, I literally have one piece that's going to get donated. You know, I mean, there's a few others that are potentials. Um, but still, you know, not a bad box at all, you guys. So with that, um, I think I'm going to wrap it up. I'm looking around because mom was in the hallway um, watching while I unboxed, but she must have made herself scarce after I got done unwrapping stuff because she's not in the hallway anymore and she's not commenting anymore and I did curse and she's not correcting me. Sorry, you guys, all this talking, I am parched. But with that, 
I am going to let you go. I will be in the chat on the next video. So um, make sure you pop in and say hi. Peace.